This is about engaging in intellectual work. This takes <laughs> true scholarship. This takes true effort. This has happened several times. You know we used to have a school of human ecology. That's where the middle school is now. That school disappeared. And there were restructurings. Many of you all in the fine arts and in the College of Arts and Sciences understand that at, at the time we had a college of fine arts. PCAR, the process, actually began before the commission. The Board of Trustees, which is ultimately the, uh, the uh, entity that is in charge with really administering, running, not administering, but running the university, basically came up with the, well, had the observation, it came with the mandate that Howard needed to review his academic programs and to retool for the 21st century. Commission, the President's Commission on Academic Renewal, is largely faculty. It's not exclusively faculty. In fact, uh, Brandon was on the commission representing uh, the student body. There were a couple of other students. But, you know, it's kind of difficult because there's a lot of sensitive material that we went through, including personnel kind of stuff, you know, gray areas. You know, how do students look at this? Not because students can't understand it. In fact, sometimes better than we can. In fact, often better than we can. But what are the legal implications for having these documents uh, in, in, in the full purview? And when you have a budget advisory commission working to find out where the, uh, the, the budget is going and where we can eliminate waste and this kind of thing, those things are, are cross referencing, so you have all this going on at the same time. This commission was set up. The president nominated some folks. The faculty senate nominated some folks. He asked the deans of the college to nominate folks. And so this commission, over 50 people, came together and for the last almost year reviewed all the academic programs at the university in four subcommittees. It's not all about the elimination of programs, which has kind of been the emphasis. Dr. Carr mentioned a lot of great things, about the area studies programs, multidisciplinarity, your ability to take courses in other schools and colleges to create your own major, the new Center for Academic Excellence, living and learning communities, a new first year experience that all um, freshmen will go through. So a lot of people look at the core class that you have to take as a student um, in the different very, the various schools and colleges. But a part of this first year experience, it'll be this Hello, good evening. My name is Laisa Bertet. I'm a junior history major, African studies minor from Newburgh, New York. And basically what I was saying earlier is that I don't feel like ultimately the PCAR committee or the president are gonna, are gonna listen to what we have to say. I feel like the press, the president's um, uh, inavailability to the students and in these spaces and the same spaces as the PCAR committee is unacceptable. I feel like for them to even come up with the, uh, the PCAR in and of itself without the the, I mean, this has been going on for a long time. I don't feel like it's been highly publicized as it should be. The first meeting wasn't even in the hilltop. They are making greater strides. And I feel like ultimately, just like, you know, in the 1960s when the African Studies program was even brought together, it was brought by students. It wasn't brought by the school. So sometimes I feel like, you know, they'll be in a position, hopefully, to just, they'll have to listen to us. But I don't think their intentions, even by these forums, are to listen to us. It's just to do the political thing. And um, that's basically it. And they're not, that's it. <laughs>